Chess friends, welcome to Fidey World Cup 2023, the event features top 10 chess GMs including Magnus Hikaru, Fobby Ian and so on, today I will show you the game 2 between Magnus Carlsen and Ivanchuk Vassil. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it, so let's go, Ivan started the game with e4, we have e5 knight to f3, knight c6 and we have the Rui Lopez opening so called Morphe variation, here you can play Caro variation of Rui or the famous move knight f6, bishop e7, Magnus decided to play knight f6, castle, here some of you might think of playing knight takes e4, let me show you the variation, rook e1 is the common move here to attack on this file, but d4 is also playable. If d4 happen then just take the pawn, rook e1 may come to pin it, so d4, knight takes d4 then we will improve our bishop on d6, 2000 elo rated players might think of playing f3 to attack the knight, but there is an amazing trap started with castle, sacrificing the knight completely, take, we will exchange the knights, then we will sacrifice the bishop away, takes queen h4 check king g8 queen takes rook and you will lose the bishop. Game will be over for you because you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, the Lion of Chess Magnus Carlsen is my old subscriber, you can see here, anyway back to the position, Magnus played bishop e7, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration, you have to do lot of practice and observation to become a genius player in chess, that will not happen in one day, be concentrate with your goals, Ivanchuk is an old player, he knows how hard it is to become a genius in chess. So we have rook e1 b5, bishop to b3 castle and he played a4 to break the Magnus army in queen side, so rook b8, and we have pawn exchanges on b5 square, c3 to play d4 and creating the c2 square to use it for the bishop's long term strategy, we have d6 d4, threatening to play d5 to target the knight and the knight will be trapped, that's the reason why Magnus decided to do pawn exchanges on center square, d5 e5, the game is played as if two warriors are fighting each other with swords, we have knight e4. Knight to c3 to target the key pawn with two pieces, so we have knight exchanges on c3, bishop f5 to get active on this diagonal, that's a nice move but I think if I play from both side with Magnus and Ivan then I can defeat them together with black and white pieces, lol, we have h3 queen to d7 bishop e3 knight d8, the turtle knight wants to re-rotate himself to get a better job, maybe Magnus can play c6 in future, Ivan move back his knight too, he wants to move the f-pawn, Mango played before. To get this b4 square for the dark square bishop, so he pushed the c pawn, takes takes c6, queen goes to a4 with the idea of playing rook c1 to target this pawn with the queen, so we have rook b7 knight f1 knight e6 to target this pawn with two pieces, knight g3 to target it, bishop g6 rook d1 knight c7, to play knight t5 to support the pawn. Magnus is fortunate that he has a pass pawn, we have queen b3 knight d5, here if you give black two moves, for example king f1, then knight b6 will come, king here knight takes bishop queen takes c4, then the pawn will be free, bring a freedom flag, this is coming and the b1 square is covered by the bishop, so you have to play bishop c1 then we will push the pawn, now you will lose one of you piece and the game. Be a first rate version of yourself, instead of a second rate version of somebody else, so back the position, Ivan played rook a5, rook a7 rook a1 rook to a8, look at the monsters, they are fighting with each other, queen takes rook and queen a1 check is coming, so Ivan played knight e2 but it is an inaccuracy move, best move was to take the knight with queen support, so Magnus played queen a3, he is threatening to move back his knight to target the bishop, and make a clear pass pawn where the bishop is also available there to support the pawn, Ivan finds the great move bishop c1, to protect the b2 square at the same time, Magnus says, I have a pass pawn already, bishops are doing very good job, knight have a great outpost, so it's time to do queen exchange, bishop takes queen bishop d3 to target the knight, so after knight f4 we have knight exchanges, this is the bishop pair versus bishop pair end game, let's see who will win the game, c5 takes takes. We have e6 to open the bishop diagonal with a check, so king f8, takes bishop, back to g6. 
The greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude, so in this position, Ivan played king f8, and we have bishop exchanges, king takes f7 king up to e2, Magnus have two pawns in front of three pawn army, same colored bishop and a pass pawn, I think it's a drawable position, but Magnus said, nope, I will use my chess psychology to defeat him, what does that mean? It means that black will give white a temptation with bishop d4, inviting white to play king d3 which was played in the game, it is called human psychology, now the f-pawn gets unguarded, best was to play g4, so after bishop takes pawn we have bishop d2, targeting to the pawn, so bishop c5, king c4 to target the pawn and bishop, but it is an inaccuracy move, best was to play g4, so Magnus moved back his bishop all the way, now Ivan decided to resign the game, because of you take the pawn. Then after doing bishop exchanges, the king will be far away from his army, which will lead black to capture all the pawns. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.